this holds up. That's the ball game. Obviously, the D-backs are going to take a look base. at it. Arizona has challenge. This will be really interesting. This game is over. Oh, my goodness. Pack them up, folks. Patrick Bailey, you are worth your weight in gold. They haven't showed it on the scoreboard just yet. But if they do, you're going to hear a roar here that you haven't heard all night long. After review, the goal on the field is confirmed. The runner is out. The game is over. Popped up. Foul territory. Sanchez with any room. And yes, look out! Whoa! Sanchez makes the catch. Topples over. Wow. That's one of the best you'll ever see. Ever. Ever. I'll tell you, this team uh, is really blessed with some gamers playing that catching position. Alex Bregman over three, reached on an air in the third inning. He goes after the first pitch, popped up over near the Astros dugout. Martin leans in and makes the catch. Oh, what an effort by Russell Martin, leaning up against the rail. Stretched his glove into the Astros dugout and makes the catch. Oh my, what a play by Russell Martin. The fans are going to give him a standing ovation after that play. How do you stop a rally? You make a great defensive play. He had the defensive play of the game yesterday, throwing out Altuve, and now they need an out right here. He's going to give up his body. Throws the helmet down and watch this full extension and stays on his feet. Pops it in the air foul. There might be a play. Beltre has got to get there. Laduca. Oh my gosh, he caught it. Oh, what a play. Oh. Boy, put that one in a highlight reel. That burned some skin. Look at this. Sliding, catching, and going into the dugout at the feet of Glenn Hoffman. Andy Ashby there along with it. What a play by Paul LaDuca. They show it on the Diamond Vision screen, and the crowd can't believe it. Wow. Now the 2 1 pitch to Martin and a fastball hit in the air off the fist down the right field line. Tough play for Green back towards the wall. It's off the base of the wall. Kent got a slow start. Now he rounds third coming home. Valentin's relay throw to the plate. The slide. He is out. And now they've got the runner behind him coming in and Drew is tagged out. How about that? Two outs at home plate because Kent got a late start, not knowing if that ball was going to be caught or not. So Valentin nails two for the price of one. And holding at second is Russell Martin. Two men away. Hewlett near the bag at third. Full swing and a high drive into left center. Salazar can't get it. Meacham went back to the bag, was almost passed by Barra. There's two men at third. The throw to the plate is in plenty of time to get one and get two. Statement of the year. Now, what happens? Meacham goes back to tack up when his ball is, is not the, the catch is not made. And all Michaels could do is motion him in. Now he's gonna get Meacham easily. And Fisk looks up, and here comes Dale. So he gets him. <laughs> That's where Barra almost passed Meacham. That's well, what he's really telling him, go ahead, 
keep running and right here Barrett takes the signal from Michael there's nothing Michael could do he threw up his hands as if to say I can't stop him and Meacham was like a fullback Meacham is trying to throw a block at Fisk if he can knock Fisk down then Barrett will score but Pud stayed on his feet and got him before he did go down And again, I just got done saying the backstop is not that far behind home plate here. And Bruce is going to come out and maybe see if the glove was late on the slide for Buster Posey. They're talking about next year doing away with the intentional walk. Well, that might be some reason why you don't do it. Because that ball and a great play this time by Ramos. And he's definitely going to be out. Molina from his knees and oh they got him the tag there by Colton Wong and an unbelievable play again from Yadier Molina and it's popped up Yadi with the catch put out number 14,865 for Yadier Molina and with that he is the all time leader in put outs in the history of Major League Baseball just past Pudge Rodriguez 14,865 the most in the history of Major League Baseball. Slow roller in front of the plate. There's one. There's two and the Mets win. The Mets hold on and win 6-5. What a play by Torrens as he turns a 2-3 double play to end it. Wow, what a great play. And, you know, he had to do it all on his own. He had to be able to get there, get back, and get in a position to throw, but didn't have time to set the angle where you might hit the runner in the back. So he had to make the accurate throw and rely on Alonzo to get the scoop on there. Michael, how many times have we seen a 2-3 double play like that? Anytime, but in this case, to win the game. I mean, it's, it's hard to do. And, and, because it has to be right in front of the plate, but he still had to take a step. Watch how he has to go back, step on it, and then turn and throw, and he's angling his body so he doesn't hit Castellanos. I mean, this is a great play. Garrett deals, squares to punt, and it hit the bat, and a double play, and if it's a fair ball, it's a triple play. It is a triple play. Everybody's waving their hands. San Diego can't believe what has just happened. The Padres are wanting a hit batsman. Guzman was trying to get out of the way, but you could clearly hear the ball on the bat. The bat broke. And the Dodgers did exactly what you have to do. Go ahead and complete the plays. Let the umpires sort it out. Ellis went to third. Uribe went to second, and then for good measure, Ellis went to first. The ball hit the bat between his hands. Went down, did not touch Guzman, rolled into fair territory, and the Dodgers did fundamentally what you have to do. That old story, when you think you've seen everything in baseball, you come to the ballpark, voila. Vince is going, the pitch is a ball, and throw, and get it. Coleman is running, the pitch is a strike, and the throw is there. He's out. Runner goes. Pop foul back of the plate. Here comes Alomar. Leaping and he holds on to it. What a catch by Alomar. Acrobatics at their best. And that retires the Tigers. At the end of a half inning, the game is scored.